Okay, we're going to stamp an image. Uh, this time we're using a little picture of a cat. I'm going to use a water-based ink. However, when it dries, it's actually waterproof. It allows us to apply the distress inks without any bleeding. So some people dab, some people wipe. I've wiped and dabbed. We're going to stamp that onto the card. I'm going to put a little bit of pressure on there and I'm going to rock my hands left and right just to make sure that it's stamped well. We'll peel that stamping block off and we'll get a nice stamped image. Okay, I'm going to apply some colour. This time we're using a brown distress ink. I'm patting it down to make sure we've got a fair bit. I've allowed it to dry on the card so it won't run. We'll apply a little bit of water to the edge of the brown distress ink. I'm going to pop some at the top as well. Good little bit there. I'll take a little bit of the ink and dip it into the water. What we're aiming to do is make a very light wash. This is going to be the base coat of the cat. So I'm going to colour in that cat there. And colour in the entire cat. Okay, through the joys of camera work, we've now covered in the entire cat. I'm now going to add more inks. Notice how I'm dragging it up with the brush. It's just a standard brush. I'm pulling the ink up and I'm mixing it into the original wash. Now if you notice how Splodgeway is actually holding the water in a really nice position. It's not allowing it to run too much. I'm taking the excess off the brush. And now we're going to use this wash, which is a darker wash, to apply shadows. So we've applied the shadows to the cat. Now we'll get some really dark ink and we'll apply some extra dark shadows. I'm going to take another colour. This time I'm going to take purple and what I'm intending to use this one for is to create a very light wash underneath the cat just to give it a little bit of perspective. So we're going to take on some water once again, apply it next to the purple, drag a small amount of the purple in there. It will have a little bit of brown, nothing to worry about, it just makes it look a little bit more natural. I'm now taking the excess ink off, um, applying a little bit of thicker ink just to, just to give it that depth of colour. And we'll apply that under the cat down here. And that should give it a really nice effect when we've finished. So I'll just finish applying that there. And there you go, almost finished. Just sharpen those edges up there. And there you go. All done. You can see the dark shadows, you can see the lighter shadows, you can see the wash, and you can see how we've used Splodge Away as your blending palette.